Okay, guys, I am back. I know it's been a while. I haven't done a video in a minute. Uh, I've been I've been busy. I've been 3D printing a lot of medical supplies for the local hospitals and stuff. Uh, I've I've made uh, over 250. Actually, no, I'm over 350 face shields now, and uh, over 500 of the little ear reliefs uh, that you see people making. So so yeah, I I've been busy. Uh, but uh, and then I started a new project that I haven't about yet so before we get into this video is about PCM tuning but let me just give a quick update uh, I started to build a CNC machine so I'm gonna have a CNC router here eventually uh, I might do some videos on the build I don't know uh, right now I'm printing out parts that go to it in some spare time because the hospital's really not in any rush to get more face shields from me so I, I got like a hundred of them that I need to get out to people and once I get rid of the hundred that I have I'll, I'll make some more it only it only takes me like two days to make a hundred of them uh, so yeah yeah and a hundred's a lot of face shields especially because they're reusable you know you just replace the plastic sheet but yeah let's let's, uh, let's focus on today's video which is PCM tuning uh, we're doing some basic PCM tuning in this video we're just going to uh, go over uh, downloading it with uh, LS droid because you guys all know I'm too damn cheap to be going out and buying HP tuners or something like that so let's uh, let's get into this we're gonna we're gonna download uh, with our LS droid here and this little cheap, you know, $50 dongle here um, with our homemade bench harness after we've pulled the computer out of the truck and uh, just do some basic things. So let's go ahead and power this thing up. I uh, just got to give it, you know, it's 12 volts, so give it to ground. Oh, God, don't build yours like I did, too. I used that electrical tape. Man, this shit sucks. It's been coming unwound on me. I wish I used heat sink. Uh, not heat sink, heat shrink. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, power this thing up. Oh, we're gonna give this thing a uh, good old 12 volts here. Uh, make sure power supply sets the right amount here. 11.9. Uh, yeah, there you go. 12 volts. So we got 12 volts. All right. And then we got our switch here. Let's uh, make sure it's on. There we go. We're on. Let's go ahead and. All right. So yep. Please update LS Droid. No, I don't want to update. Read PCM. And we're doing, yep, uh, P59. Uh, so we select P59 on there. And let's connect. Oh, what was the name of this thing? Uh, this one's the OBD Link. OBD Link LX. There we go. Yep, this is experimental software. We know that. So now we're going to have this download. So PCM OS ID complete. So let's go ahead and click read PCM. Uh, you should note and write down what this uh, OS ID is here. Uh, so that way you don't forget because you're going to need that information later on. Um, so now we are reading this and this is going to take... 22 minutes and I don't think it'll let me click cancel because I actually already have this downloaded don't don't think I don't pre-game these videos oh I pre-gamed it I got this downloaded already but okay hey we can cancel read in progress cause I already have this thing downloaded no point in doing it again but I wanted to show you the correct process for it and I downloaded it this way so yeah we can cancel so let's say oh something came up and you, you had to step away you needed your cell phone get a phone call or something uh, you shouldn't be using your normal cell phone to do this but yeah there we go we can cancel the read we're no longer reading it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the PCM do the correct way of doing it you you always want to shut it off especially after you do a write this way because it doesn't always commit everything to memory uh, unless you do that so if you were to just unplug it uh, it's like uh, you know, you, you wanted to save your Word document and then you just go run up and unplug the computer. It just doesn't save it. It's this thing similar to a home computer in that kind of way, although it's not a spinning disk, it's flash memory. Uh, it still has to write it to memory, so make sure you always do this. So let's uh, go ahead and get onto the computer here. So I already have it on the computer and uh, just go ahead and do this. Okay, now that we've downloaded our dump from our PCM onto our cell phone, connect the cell phone to the computer, pull it off, you know, do, do your whole thing. Your phone may be different. Um, and just put it in a folder. So uh, afterwards, and open it up, and you need to have the matching uh, XTF file for it. So let's go in and see. I already know I have the correct one opened up, but you'll go to the calibration segment, 
and uh, just make sure that this matches your XDF you have open. So I, I do have the correct X, XDF opened up. Uh, sometimes the calibration you know information is not going to show up at all, so you'll have to use uh, you know other other tools to uh, to get it. Um, so you can use like uh, PCM Builder. Uh, that's a good way of just seeing where. And that one does segment swaps. So if you're going to do just segment swaps, you don't even need to open this up. You can just do that all on PCM Builder. Uh, but let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this. And the the point of today's video is to show a couple of quick, easy tunes that we're going to do. You'll probably never see me do any VE tables, which uh, you'll see them right here, or anything like that on uh, on here. Uh, just because I don't have a dyno to be doing like a full-on dyno tune, so there'd be no point in playing in those. I mean, yeah, you can do straight tunes, but I don't even have a wide band on anything that I'm playing with. So, uh, yep, you're not going to see me doing that kind of stuff here on this channel. So if that's the kind of tuning information you're looking for, just go find one of those guys that are doing it with HB tuners or something like that and watch it. Because those tools are just, you know, superior to this for doing that. But all right, let's get into the point of this video today. So we're going to take a look at... Uh, to, Deleting VATs is going to be the first one. So this one, as you can see down at the bottom, once you hover over VATs, which is going to be G1201 on uh, this particular um, uh, XDF, uh, it, this one has a description for it that's going to show you what your options are. So uh, zero is class two data, which is what this one's currently set at, and uh, two is inactive. So let's just go ahead and slide this guy over to... Oop, uh, we don't want to go to 225. We want to go to 2. We're going to just go ahead and disable VATs on this one. So we're going to save that. So we've made one change there. Um, now let's uh, let's take a look at some other stuff. We'll just cover it, but I'm not going to go into doing it in this video. I'll do a separate video on fans. But uh, this is kind of your section here. So you can enable or disable electronic fans on here. Um, Another common one that you're going to need to do is VIN. So uh, VIN is not stored in pit VIN location. It's going to be at possible alternate location. So here is a VIN number. Uh, you can just change that to whatever you need to. If you decided you didn't want to delete VATS and you just wanted to set the correct VIN number on there, uh, this would be where you would go to do that. Um, let's see. Uh, the other one that I wanted to show is... Um, trouble code. So I can't remember the exact one off the top of my head. So let's just use control F and we're going to search for uh, DTC. So uh, we'll just use that and it'll give us all the different possible items found. And we're going to see that uh, DTC type is C6001. So maybe I did really remember that. Just wanted to show you that feature. So 6001. See here, C6001. We have diagnostic trouble codes. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. And this is by the type. And you see here it shows your uh, four different types here. And it basically says, hey, you know, if, if the uh, uh, truck the malfunction indicator light the M mil shows up here um, you just go through those options and you can change them and then you just need these to match also so uh, just make sure you know if, if this is a three which means that the uh, it's it's just a disabled one not reported that you can set it to zero and you can just go through. They don't have to match because, as you can see here, uh, well, I, actually, this one, a zero should still indicate. So, yeah, yeah uh, the zero here means it's going to indicate. Uh, and then that will indicate. So just make sure they match up on here so that way things really don't. If you wanted to delete out a code for some reason, like uh, maybe an emissions code, I don't know. I don't know what kind of stuff you're doing to your car. Uh, but yeah, those are kind of your, your basic things there. So after you make whatever changes you want to make, and there's there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. You can, you know, up your line pressures for the transmission and uh, do a lot of other stuff. And I'll, I'll cover more of that in other videos. I just want to do the basic, like, here's what you can do. Here's what everybody wants to do. You, you, you know, you want to delete VAT. You might want to come in and delete your, um, your uh, speed governor. Uh, I can't remember the title for that one. I... Uh, maximum vehicle speed uh you know you can come in and uh you know just set that to 255 if you want to you know delete it out not zero but uh you know 512 um so now we've made changes to it 
So we're going to save bin as, and we're just going to type edit. And uh, that that's going to be it for modifying the bin. Now we just need to put this bin back onto our cell phone. So again, just plug in your cell phone, uh, hook it up to the computer, uh, transfer the data over, and then you're going to write it in, in the uh, LS droid. So uh, let's go ahead and switch over to the cell phone now. And, uh, you know, we'll go through the process of, of writing this change to it. Okay, so now we've put it on our cell phone, uh, which I didn't actually. I'm just going to simulate doing this change, uh, but I, it'll give you all the information. But let's let's go through this real quick. You just go through all the steps of writing to it. So let's go ahead and go write PCM. It's going to come up with basically, you know, a liability screen saying, yeah, it's my fault if I break it. Uh, one of the things that uh, it, it, it does, uh, you know, Make sure if you're doing this in the vehicle that you have a, a good charge on the vehicle. Make sure you turn off like your radio and all of that stuff, uh, because uh, if you lose power during this, um, you could brick the PCM. And if you brick the PCM, you're gonna need you know one of these guys with the proper adapter, and you gotta take it all the way apart and take the uh, flash memory off and rewrite it. Uh, you might, I think you can recover with one of these. I haven't even opened this yet. I don't know why I bought this. Um, <laughs> this is like the JTAG equivalent. I forgot what it's called. Uh, yeah, I can't think of it off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, this is a JTAG equivalent for, for this processor. I, I bought it, and I'm probably never even going to activate it. Ah, uh, that was stupid. Uh, but let's let's get back to this. So yeah, so if you brick it, uh, you're not going to be able to recover with, with this. So yeah, continue. Um, and then you got to connect, so Bluetooth, connect to whichever one is yours, uh, if it'll, there we go, we're now connected, uh, it reads it, gives the OS ID again, and then you're going to go write calibration data, no, we are going to write a new OS and calibration data, so and we're going to write an entire bin to it, and so then we just pick which one we want, you just click it and you go from there. So super, super simple process, uh, yeah, back button's disabled, and then you can then, so yeah, if you, if you get like stuck in the app and can't close it, just disconnect your Bluetooth, uh, main menu, and then you can close the app. Close app. Please update. No, I'm not going to update. Close app. Eh, it doesn't work. See? Has some glitches. Maybe I should update. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's that's really all there is to it. You know, now that you've written your data to it, it may not be fully written to it, if that makes any sense. Um, so the these things still got to save. I know I talked about it a little briefly in the beginning, but I'm going to reiterate this so that way, you know, you don't forget like a VIN change you absolutely have to do it it won't save a VIN change without doing it so you you waited your 22 minutes for this thing to write to it now don't forget the all-important step of turning off the key and then waiting 10 seconds before doing anything it, it's got like a 10 second shutdown sequence writes any of these changes that have been made to the flash memory and then it turns off uh, so just don't forget to do that or else you wasted 22 minutes when you turned it off and then started right back up. Ah, oh, it didn't change the flash memory. Now, now you got to redo the whole thing. That's fun. Uh, 22 minutes. It's a, it's a long time. Um, so it would be 40 minutes from download, however long it took you to edit it. Uh, then it's going to be another 20 minutes to, 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 so you're looking at, you know, probably two hours to tune one of these. Now you don't lose that whole two hours, you just have to write it again if you forgot to save it. But just to give you an idea of start to finish, if you're just doing a basic tune, like turning off VATS, stuff like that, uh, two hours at most, if you had to go pull the computer out of the truck. If you're doing it in the truck, you're probably looking at hour and a half maybe, if you're slow on the computer, I don't know. Um, so yeah, pretty quick, uh, I'm really, glad to be back making videos i've been super busy you know i thought covid19 was just going to give us all like tons of time off work man you know i'm i'm teleworking but i'm doing twice as much work it seems like so yeah uh, i hope you guys uh like the video uh and i'll see you guys in the next one